In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your appointment book so that you can set your schedule for the whole practice, for each operatory, and for each provider, as well as show you how to set your vacation and holiday hours. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, the first thing that we want to do is set up the practice's default schedule. So to do this, we'll be in the appointment book. We'll go up to this top toolbar and select setup and then practice appointment setup. This opens this box for us where we see several selections we'll go through. This first one on the left side, this is the default schedule. This is what we're mostly focusing on in this video. So to set the practices schedule, first we'll select each day of the week that the office is open. When you select the day, the office will then be open on that day. And when you select the arrows on the side, you can set the schedule for that day. So you set all the times, your open time. If you break for lunch, come back from lunch and then close for the day. So in this scenario, you can see in the background here, Monday is set from eight o'clock for every operatory, eight o'clock to one o'clock. The entire office closes from one o'clock to two o'clock for lunch, and then everyone is open again until five o'clock. This is the default schedule for this office. So we'll say, okay, go through each day of the week. If you have different hours, you know, on Tuesday, you work from nine to six, you know, with a lunch break in there, you set everything the way that your office needs it. Once you have all of the days selected, you can click okay. If your office is brand new and just setting up for the first time, you may wanna go through some of these other options. Um, these, these options here that have this asterisk next to us, this means that this will only affect the computer that you're on when you're making these changes. So it won't affect all of the computers in the office. The only settings that you can change in here that will affect the entire office is the default schedule, this appointment amount, and the time block size. So everything else you can set the way that you want for your computer, and we'll, we'll kind of run through these real quick. So appointment, um, default appointment settings, this is for in your appointment book, uh, or I'm sorry, your appointment box when you're scheduling an appointment. This, you can automatically set your status, you know, confirmed, left message. Um, schedule, if you wanted to add them to the ASAP list or something like that fixed just means the appointment is fixed at that time on that date. Type is your uh, production level, high production, medium, low. If you want to schedule or set any of these to be um, defaulted to automatically show that. In my opinion, it, it's best just to change those on a case-by-case -case basis per patient. Um, so I just leave them all to none in the schedule type as fixed. Um, this next one, this appointment amount, this is just gonna show the, the cost, the production amount for that appointment if you have it set to always calculate. Um, otherwise, you can enter um, an amount as you go. Screen color, this will just change your colors if you wanted to change your um, just the way that it looks. Um, right now, this is the default color. You can select any color that you want for open times and closed times. Button bar orientation. This is for your top toolbar up here. It can be on the top, or you can have it vertically down this left side if you choose vertical. Um, and then of course this time block size, this is the interval for your appointments. If you want them to be set um, every five, 10, 15, 20, or 30 minutes. Um, I don't think I've ever seen five, 20 or 30 minute intervals. Um, most common is 10 or 15. So whatever works best for your practice. Um, well, without getting too much into all this, you can click into this too. This is your hover detail setup. Um, this is when you have an appointment scheduled, you can hover over it and this box will pop up. This you can select um, what you want to show in that hover screen. We can talk more about that in another video if you want. If you're interested in something like that, let me know in the comments. I'll make a video just on that hover uh, setup. Otherwise, pretty straightforward setting your default schedule here on this left side. So once you have that set, simply click OK. That sets your practice up for all of its default scheduling. 
I do want to talk about a couple other things when it comes to setting up your schedule. Two pretty big things. One is setting up your provider and the other is setting up your operatory. So you can change the times that are available based on the operatory and based on the provider. So let's go into the provider first. So we'll go to setup here and then down to provider setup. So you can select a schedule for each of your providers. So if you have different providers that work different hours, you have a doctor that comes in one day a week, um, hygienist that works, you know, they leave early one day. However, it works out for your practice. Um, you can set everyone's schedule here. So you'll select the provider and click setup. And then same as on that last screen, you select the days that they work and what times they are available. So you can see this DDS1, this provider does not work on Mondays. So they've closed the office for that Monday. You can go in and change anything you want. They're also not going to work Fridays anymore. So you just change it right in there. Um, you can also set their color. This is the, the color that will show on the appointment book for all of their appointments. Time blocks here. We'll get into this another uh, in another video. This is for perfect day scheduling. Actually, I'm going to make another video completely on perfect day scheduling. That's a really big kind of big topic and I think a really useful one. So we'll make a whole nother video on that. Um, but just go ahead and select all the days and hours that this provider is here and select OK. When you do that, it will not change the operatory. It won't change how it looks on here. Like you could see that provider was not open on Mondays. It didn't change the schedule because the operatories themselves are still open. So just because that provider isn't in that day, they may use that operatory for something else. Someone else may work in there. If you have a situation where the operatory is closed, so, you know, say op one is a hygiene room and this hygienist does not work on Mondays and no one else uses this operatory, you may just want to close this operatory for the day. So you go to setup and operatory setup. This is how it will change the view of how it looks on the schedule. So op one, we'll go to setup and we'll say this hygienist does not work on Mondays anymore. We'll remove this completely. Say okay and close and you'll see that that closes this whole operatory. So nothing can be scheduled over here now. Another really common thing I see is providers that work different times. So Let's go back into operatory setup. And let's say that you have two hygienists and they both work different hours. So the first hygienist maybe works eight to five while the other one, maybe she comes in a little later. Let's go into a different provider that's, or a different operatory that's already open. So say on Monday, maybe she has to drop her kid off at school on Mondays. And so we close her operatory until nine o'clock. So she works just from nine to five where everyone else works eight to five. So we'll change that and say, okay, and close. And that closes her operatory. So everyone knows she won't be in until nine o'clock. Do not schedule any appointments there. So just go through and set all of your days. The default schedule should come first. So default for the whole practice and then go in and tweak by provider and by operatory. The last thing that I just want to mention quickly is closing the office for vacation or holidays so that you can close a whole day. To do this, we'll want to go back into setup and then practice schedule. This opens up our calendar like this, and we can simply go to the day that the office will be closed and set it as closed. So two different ways to do this based on if you're just closing um, for a vacation or if you're closing for a holiday. So let's say Halloween's coming up, we'll go, say we're going to close the office for Halloween. We'll select that day and click office closed. These front two are for closing the office for vacation or other reasons. The second two are for holidays. So Halloween, say we decided as a practice that we're going to close every year on Halloween. You would click uh, set yearly holiday on selected day and that will change it to closed. And see if you hover off, off of it, it changes it to this red color. 
that will close that day and it will close that day every year so that you your office will remain closed for that holiday. However, if you want to schedule just a one off the days, you know, we're closed. You know, we're going to take off this uh, Friday. We're going to have an office party for Christmas. You select the day, click office closed, and then say close office on selected date. Do that and it changes it to this gray color. It just has closed the office. So when you go to that date, there will be no um, appointment times available. If you just want to change your hours for a specific day and not close the office completely, all you need to do is find the date that you want to change hours on and simply double click on it and change the hours here. So say on this day, we're just going to work nine o'clock to one o'clock and then we'll be closed the rest of the day. And take that out of the way. There we go. Click OK, and now you can see it's 9 to 1 that day. And that's how you just adjust um, the times for one specific day. So great. I hope that that really helps you understand how to set up your schedule for your office and adjust things on your schedule for the each operatory, each provider, and to set everything for your whole practice. It really makes it a lot easier when you're flipping through scheduling appointments if you can quickly and easily tell when each provider is available and when they're not so that there's no mistakes in scheduling made. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps to support my channel and subscribe. I post new Dentrix tutorials and training videos all the time. Um, so I will see you guys in the next one.